so we're rolling a ceiling. And we're going to use an 18 inch roller, 18 wide, on a ceiling. Now, you're painting the ceiling. Question for you painters out there, or do it yourselfers. We're doing a moderate level knockdown. You know how some of these texture guys do the knockdown? It's so sloppy. They make it thick in this new construction. This is one of the better ones I've seen. Can you, can you just show it to them? It's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Now we have a unique situation. I told the homeowner, we need to retexture your ceiling because he did a repair. He said, oh, it'll never match. I said, no, I mean, we're gonna retexture the whole ceiling. He said, I don't want you to do it. He had a problem up here, he had a leak. And so he wants me to paint the ceiling. I said, so as a professional, I don't wanna do that. Not to make more money. <laughs> no. I don't want the liability of it not looking right. He said, I'll fix the crack. You just paint it. So what he did was he put glue underneath the plaster and pushed it back up. And the, and the plaster is secure. You're going to still see it. So this video is not about me fixing that crack. But this is an important video nonetheless. Now... I am standing between two walls that are 15 feet wide. The room this way is 24 feet long. 15 this way, almost 25 this way. Question, show them the light source. Now I'll give you a hint. The light is coming in to the room long ways. We don't have a window on the long wall here or the long wall here. The light is coming in through the center, illuminating the entire room long lengthwise. Which way do you roll the ceiling? A, you choose to go this way. You choose the shortest span, 15 long, right? You say, Spence, I'm not rolling it 25 feet long. I'm not going in that direction. Who says go across? Now, um, let me help you make your choice. This is the short way. This is short. The light's coming in against the short way. So the light's hitting the room like this. And I'm saying, would you go short this way? Or would you go with the light coming in long ways? Which way would you roll? I'll wait till you put your answer down. Time's up. Alex Trebek, right? Question, are you gonna make lap marks with your roller? No, I'm a pro, right? Baloney. Professionals make lap marks with their roller. You can't see them. If I go short ways and I make a lap mark, which is a little, the paint dries a little bit lower than the rest of its counterparts. Because it's a little thicker there. Imperceptible to the eye. But, very visible when you have light hitting it. You're rolling this way. This is your panel, your column with your roller. On the edges, those little edges, if you're not careful, if you're having a bad day and you push too hard, you're making a lap mark. With flat paint on texture, you're not gonna see it. Except if you roll it in the wrong direction. If the light's coming in toward my body, should I roll with my body this way, with the light coming in against me? Or should I roll this way, where the light is coming in on my shoulder? Well, if you haven't figured it out with that explanation, then you probably don't paint a lot, which is fine. This is why you're watching the video. The light is going to trip over your lap mark. That's why there are shadows in the world. 
the sunlight is coming off of the coming from the sky it hits my body behind me is a shadow the light comes into the room hits a lap mark going this way and trips over causing a shadow therefore you want to roll and channel your lap marks if you make them you want to channel them so that the light is channeled with the lap mark and can't highlight it because it's not tripping over it. The light's coming in this way. You want to channel the light along the lap mark. If you go against the direction in which the light is coming in, you're creating a mountain on your ceiling, something over which the light has to trip and regain itself to give light. And when it trips and regains itself, it's called a shadow, a holiday, a flashpoint, whatever you want to call it. I hope I explained it well enough to you. I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.